Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Sunday School. We're so glad you can join us today. Well, we just finished with what special season? That's right, we just finished Christmas, right? Well, Christmas is when we celebrated Jesus being born. Today, we're talking about another event in the life of Jesus, his baptism. Now, maybe lots of you were baptized when you were little bitty babies, but Jesus was baptized when he was an adult. So our story today is 30 years after the birth of Jesus, when we celebrate his baptism. And we're going to read that story in just a minute. And then we're going to talk a little bit about our own baptisms. You'll see here that I have some baptism stuff set up for us. So we're going to learn a little bit about all of this stuff today in Sunday School. But before we get started, I think we should sing a song. And when we think about baptism, I like to think a lot about the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit is at work in our baptisms. And we're going to hear more about that in a little bit too. So I thought we would start our service, our time together, with a song about the Holy Spirit. But I think we're missing somebody if we're going to start singing a song, right? Because you don't want me to lead the singing of the song, do you? So let's see if we can find Sid. Sid? Yes, hi, Jenny. Hey, Jimmy. there's Sid. Hi, All everybody. right. He is going to sing a song for us about the Spirit. And I bet this is a song that is going to require you to get on your feet. That's right. This, this song has actions because the whole it thing is. is about moving. It's called When the Spirit Says Move. And it goes like this. When the Spirit says move, you gotta move. When the Spirit says move, you gotta move. When the Spirit says move, you gotta move, move, move. When the Spirit says move, you gotta move. When the Spirit says hop, you gotta hop. When the Spirit says hop, you gotta hop. When the Spirit says hop, you gotta hop, hop, hop. When the Spirit says hop, you gotta hop. When the Spirit says dance, you gotta dance. When the Spirit says dance, you gotta dance. When the Spirit says dance, you gotta dance, dance, dance. When the Spirit says dance, you gotta dance. When the Spirit says sing, you gotta sing. When the Spirit says sing, you gotta sing. When the Spirit says sing, you gotta sing, sing, sing. When the Spirit says sing, you gotta sing. When the Spirit says pray, you gotta pray. When the Spirit says pray, you gotta pray. When the Spirit says pray, you gotta pray, pray, pray. When the Spirit says pray, you gotta pray. When the Spirit says stop, you gotta stop. Oh, I guess that's the end of our song. <laughs> Thanks everybody for singing. Thanks Sid for leading us in that song. All right, well today, like I said, we are talking about baptism. And specifically, we're gonna start by talking about Jesus' baptism and the Holy Spirit that we just sang about was seen in a very special way the day that Jesus was baptized. So we're going to read that story for you right now from your Spark Story Bibles. If you have a Spark Story Bible at home, this story is found on page 242. 242 is the story of Jesus' baptism. And it says, While Jesus was living in Galilee, his cousin, John the Baptist, was preaching out in the country of Judea. The people loved John and came to see and hear him whenever they could. Sometimes crowds of people came to see John by the Jordan River. When the crowds came, John would tell them, change what needs changing in your life. God's kingdom is here. The people would promise to change their lives. And then John would baptize them to show them that they were a new person in God's eyes. I baptize you on the outside with plain old water from the Jordan River, John would exclaim. But this is nothing compared to what and who is coming. The one who is coming will baptize you with God's own spirit. With God's spirit, you will be changed from the inside out. While John was saying this, Jesus appeared. He asked John to baptize him. But John wasn't so sure. What? John said. Me baptize you? I think it should be the other way around. But Jesus insisted, do it, John. God does amazing things in baptism. So John did what Jesus asked and baptized him. All the way under the water in the Jordan River, Jesus went. 
When he splashed up out of the water, Jesus saw the skies open up and he saw God's spirit. It looked like a dove gracefully floating down to land on him. There was a voice too. The voice said, this is my son. He has been chosen and marked by my love. He is the great joy of my life. You see the dove there and you see Jesus coming out of the water as he's being baptized and you see the crowds of people watching him. That's what happened. Look away. That's what happened on the day that Jesus was baptized. The skies were open. The spirit descended. God spoke words from above. That's the very special day that Jesus was baptized. And you heard that work of the Holy Spirit in there, right? The Holy Spirit coming down in the form of the dove, right? Well, now let's talk about what happens at our baptisms. Now, we may not be baptized in a river, although you could be baptized in a river, right? But most of us probably weren't. We maybe were baptized right here in this spot or another spot just like it. This is what we call a baptismal font. And the baptismal font is filled with water. Now, right, this is just plain, ordinary water, isn't it? Right, and then we pour it into the font. Ooh, look at that water splashing all over, right? We pour that into the font and it splashes around and we hear that splash of God's love. Well, how does this water, how does this water become so special that it can do amazing things. Well, I'll tell you what happens. Remember the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit in this water combined with the word of God in the water is what happens in baptism to make it special, to make this be water that's not just plain old ordinary water, but water of God's love and God's grace. This water signifies to us that we are God's child forever. This water holds the promise of God's love and forgiveness and grace. This water helps us remember that we too, just like Jesus, are God's, what's this word? beloved. We are God's beloved child. I have called you by name, our banner says. You are mine. And when we baptize babies here at this church, we put your name right here in this spot. So I have called you by name, Jennifer. That's what mine would say, Jennifer. I have called you by name, Jennifer. You are mine. Why don't you say that with me, but use your own name and think about how God might be saying that to you right now. I, I have called, called you by, by name, name Jennifer. Sid. You, you are, are mine. That's the promise that we receive in our baptism as we are united in God's love and God's grace forever through the power of this water, through the power of what God does through the Holy Spirit. And so just because maybe we don't see skies open, maybe we don't see the dove, maybe we don't hear the voice of God literally when we're baptized, that doesn't mean our baptisms aren't just as big of an event as Jesus' baptism was that day. Because in our baptism, God does something amazing for us. God forgives our sins. God claims us as our own, as his own. God calls us his beloved child. God lights a fire in us, like the fire on this candle right here, to help us to become his child and to be the disciples he needs us to be. So that every day, as we remember our baptisms, we can remember the light of Christ that lives in us through our baptisms. In fact, did you know that at every baptism, including yours, we give you a candle. This candle represents the light of Christ that now lives in you. And one of the things we like you to do with this candle is to light it every year 
on the day you were baptized, your baptismal anniversary, or maybe you want to call it your second birthday, when you light a candle to remember the light of Christ that lives in you. Our baptisms are the most special day because they are the day that we are washed in God's love and God's grace. The day we are named and claimed as God's child. The day we remember that God loves us and nothing, nothing in this world can celebrate, separate us from God's love. Now, here's what I want you to do for your Sunday School at home lesson today. I want you to think a little bit more about baptism. I want you to think about what it means to be baptized. And I want you to think about what it means to be God's beloved child. So one of the first things I want you to do is ask your parents or your grandparents or whoever you want to ask today, first about your baptism. What's the date of your baptism? Where were you baptized? And what are some special memories from that day? Maybe you wore something special that day. Maybe there's some special people there that your parents might want you to remember. Talk about what special things happened on your baptism day. Then I want you to ask your parents or and or your grandparents or and your aunts and uncles or brothers and sisters, everybody around you today or anybody you can call about their baptisms. When were they baptized? Do they remember the date? I might be putting some people on the spot here today. Where were they baptized and what special memories did they know about from their baptism day? And then Take some water, and we're doing this in the church service today too, so you might have already done this today. Take some water, splash your hands in that water. Remember that God's love is in that water, and then remember your baptism. I have called you by name, you are mine. Remember that promise today. Celebrate that promise as you celebrate your baptisms. And then your last assignment, at home, as you're doing your Sunday school lesson, maybe you can find your baptismal candles. If you can, then I want you to light those today. If you can't find your baptismal candle, find another candle. Light that candle. And then with the, your family or whoever is with you today, I want you to remember the light of Christ by using these words. Let your light so shine before others. Say that with me, Sid. Let, Let your, your light, light so, so shine, shine before, before others, others that, that they may see your good works, that they, they may see your good works, and glorify your Father in heaven, and, and glorify your Father in heaven. heaven. Let your light so shine before others that they, they may see your good works, works and glorify and your Father in heaven. Because that's that light of Christ that comes into us when we are baptized. That's the light of Christ that we share and live everywhere we go and every single day. And now, I think we're going to sing another, look, he has his guitar. I think he's ready to sing another song. So what are we going to sing, Sid? I think we should sing a song that helps us remember how God feels about us at our baptism and how God spoke to Jesus at his baptism by saying, God loves us, which is most easily sung in a song called Jesus Loves Me. <laughs> I like this song. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Hey, thank you, Sid. Now join me in a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you for the gift of our baptism, for the promise that you are always with us, for the promise that you have called us by name, that we belong to you, that we are part of your family forever. Help us to live in the promise of baptism and to shine the light of Jesus every day of our lives and everywhere that we go. Amen. Amen. Now I want you to go and talk about your baptisms with your family. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll see you next week.